I am Scientist Stanley and welcome to this week's Wonderful Science Challenge. Each week, different teachers will be setting you a fun and interesting challenge. I can't wait to see all the fun you have with this week's challenge. But first, a little joke. How did the astronaut serve dinner in outer space? On flying saucers. <laughs> Good luck and enjoy, Swallowfield scientists. Good morning, Swallowfield, and welcome to the Year 4 Science Lab. With Dr Woodman. And Professor Plumley. And... Scientist Stanley. So, Dr Woodman, what are we going to be exploring today? Well, today, Professor Plumley, we are going to be learning about non-Newtonian fluid. Non-Newtonian what now? Non-Newtonian fluid. No, you lost me. We're going to have to go back a bit. A solid is a matter that has a definite shape or size like this table, or your glasses. Or Daisy the cow. Exactly. Then we have liquid. Now liquid has a definite size, but not a definite shape. It can be poured into different shaped containers. Ah, I see. So an apple can be apple shaped, but water can't be water shaped. Exactly. And then we have gas, which has no definite shape or size, like the air around you. More like the air around you. Now, all solids, liquids and gases are materials or objects made of matter. And all materials have properties or traits that help us identify and recognise them. Like colour, shape, size, temperature or weight. So this means that there are solids like this apple, there is gas like the air around us and there is liquids like the water in this cup. But there are some materials that can't be grouped into any of those categories. Yes, non-Newtonian fluids. Like honey, which gets runnier if you stir it. Or like cream, where you whip it and it becomes less and less like liquid. And ketchup, which flows more freely when stressed. You need to shake the bottle to put some on your chips. Mmm, yummy, yummy, yummy chips. That's right. And today we're going to create our own non-Newtonian fluid. So for this experiment, you will need... 240 millilitres of water. 230 grams of corn flour. A bowl. And make sure you get your grown-up's permission. So... The non-Newtonian fluid that we're going to be making today has a name. It's called oobleck. Oobleck. Absolutely, it's not a made up word. It comes from a character or a book that was written by Dr. Zeus. Dr. Zeus, the man who wrote Cat in the Hat. Indeed, he wrote another story called Bartholomew and the Oobleck. And the story was all about a king who got really bored and fed up with the weather that they were having. So he made all this icky, sticky, gooey stuff instead of the weather. Oobleck. It's a funny word. It is a funny word. You can have as much fun trying to say the word. So how do we make the slime, Dr Woodman? Well, Professor Plumley. Making the slime is simplicity itself. We have our corn flour, we have our water, and we add one to the other. I'm going to give it a little stir.
I can feel in my hands that it feels just like a solid. Then when I release the pressure, it turns back into a liquid again. Liquids have a property known as viscosity. Whoa! Big word alert! Viscosity simply means the rate in which the liquid flows. I don't know, Dr. Woodman. This just looks like yucky milk in a sandwich box to me. Well, Professor Plumley, I agree with you. It looks like milk. But what do you think? Do you think I could thump this without getting my hands wet? No, because it's a liquid. How much? One pound. Watch it. It acts like a solid. It's behaving in a different way. How about a hammer? No, now you're being redonkulous. Is that worth a fiver, Professor Plumley? Yes, a fiver it is. I bet you that you cannot whack that hammer into that bowl of gooey milk without getting splashed. is actually a suspension, meaning that the cornflour and water are not mixed into each other. If the suspension was left for long enough, clear water would rise to the top and the heavier cornflour would sink to the bottom. When pressure is put on the slime mixture, the water molecules flow away from the surface, leaving big clumps of cornflour molecules to give the liquid its firmness. When the pressure is released, the water flows back into the spaces and the liquid flows freely once more. Whoa, that's amazing! So much science! So what you're saying is, non-Newtonian fluids are a bit of a rule breaker. That's exactly right, Professor Plumley. but in addition, they are lots of fun. Well, we can't wait to see what fun you get up to at home. Just remember to ask your grown-ups permission before you do any of this experiment. We don't want to get any of you in trouble. But send us lots of photos, lots of clips of all the fun that you get up to. But apart from that, it's goodbye from me, Professor Plumley. And goodbye from me, Dr Woodman. And goodbye from Scientist Stanley. Bye-bye. <laughs>